Joseph. Hey, we're glad you're with us for a special episode of the Pastor Pod. Here we are, just days away from 2023. It's been a great year. We want to take some time and uh, look back and also look ahead a little bit. Jay, I'm, I'm so glad you're, you're here. Glad we can just celebrate. What a good year we've had. And man, we've had a lot of fun on the Pastor Pod. You just instantly made me feel old. 2023. I graduated in 1999. Like, oh, wow. You're a Y2K yeah. guy. Yeah. When did you graduate? High school. I'm talking about high school. I, two, 2002. Okay. So you're a little younger than so me. So I'm, I'm, I'm a baby, apparently, compared to you. But yeah, like, like that 2023. Ooh. 2023 know, sound, it just sounds a lot old. Like, it just sounds like we're moving into like, we need, like my daughter Hannah always says, um, I want a flying car. Right. It sounds futuristic. But she always talks about, the, yeah, she always talks about, the, about this old SUV. It's, we had to fix it this week and it's just hanging on, right? I'm hanging on as long as I can. She keeps saying, Daddy, you could buy a Tesla. And then one day when there's a flying car, you could buy a flying car. And I'm like, I just love your vision. Your, I love that you, that you, maybe one day you'll have a flying car when you're my age. And she's like, yeah, I, I definitely want a flying car. You know, they have, uh, they have electric Jeeps now, Josh. I've heard about this and I have been looking at Jeeps, but not to, my, even my neighbor said that he, he's got an old Jeep. He's like, well, name your price. You can buy my Jeep. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I can, you know? And he says, well, you know, the new electric ones. I don't think, and I don't, I don't know, Joe. I don't, I just don't, I just know how to think about that. When I think of Jeep, I don't think about, you know, anything, anything working with electric. Like I think of just eating up gas and driving through mud. Yeah, I, I, and I don't, I'm, I'm trying to be careful here, not offend anybody, uh, because I know if I say something like electric vehicles, somebody's gonna be like, you know, Jay, those are, those are good things for the environment. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they all have their place, whatever. But I don't think of electric Jeep. I actually know a guy who got an electric Jeep, and I, uh, I kind of teased him a little bit, and I said, oh, electric, is it not as powerful? That was my first thought. It can't be as powerful oh, wow. as a, a regular <laughs> Jeep. Um, and sure, here comes the feedback. Here comes the instant, like, lashback. Yeah, Pastor Pod is anti-electric yes. vehicles. Yeah, I just no, we're my, not. I think, I think my, they're all cool. My instant, my instant thought was, though, is, like, it can't be as powerful as a gas-powered mm. Jeep, right? Um, you know, mm -hmm. just the muscle. And I drive a Jeep, for the record. I drive a Jeep. It's a rusted out Massachusetts Jeep that has been through the snow and has the rust to prove it. Uh, my wife, it's so bad. It's so bad. My wife was like, she looked at the Jeep and she pointed at it and she pushed the Jeep and she said, what is that? And her finger went all the way through and a piece <laughs> fell off. And I said, you're breaking my Jeep. And she yeah, said, literally. It might, might be time to be thinking about a new one if I can just press on it and it falls apart. What are you going to do if you get in an accident? Yeah. Good. I guess there's some justification there. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Is my wife? Wait a minute. Is my wife telling me to get a new Jeep? Is that what? Did I, I think miss that's what I'm hearing? Did I miss I the think, opportunity? I, I think that you know, just like on every commercial that we've watched this past month, like all these grown adults buying cars without running it by their spouse. Hey, I bought you a new Lexus. Hey, I bought you a new Mercedes. Like who and who does this? Okay, time out. I have to. This by the is a way, true who, story. Like we. But I mean, like who just goes? I bought you like an $85,000 car without, you know, like bringing it up because, you know, I wanted to surprise you with a new car payment that's oh, like no, $800 a month. Time out. I need to tell a true story and we need to chase this rabbit real quick. This is true. We're in a small group in Boston and uh, we were talking about wife and husband dynamics and we we're talking about how like, do you have a spending limit you can spend without asking permission from the other uh, spouse and we all went around the room like yeah yeah someone was like yeah we do or no we talk about all the things and one couple was like yeah we do uh the other day um you know i was within my limit and i went and bought a tesla no joke went and bought a tesla within my limit i'm like you don't have a limit then buddy i don't think we're talking the same language yeah. like when i say I, uh... limit there's no tesla <laughs> in that limit like for me limit is I like a plane hey, and she wasn't a, yeah like I went and got Chick-fil-A is a limit. Like I went and got Chick-fil-A yeah. meal. That's $10. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Talking, I went, I went and surprised my wife with a Tesla because it was in the limits. <laughs> really? <laughs> so uh, anyhow, I, I just, I'm curious though. Did I hear, did my wife, was my wife giving me permission to get a new Jeep? Is that what she was saying? Now I'm, now I'm, you know, I don't try to read into things. 
Uh, I'm not trying uh, to read into things. I'm just trying to take it at face value. So if you are it, listening, it might to this, just be something. Yeah, I need to hear from the women. If you're listening yeah. to this, um, I know you're going to say, "Go talk to your wife." Don't assume things, but uh, just based off of what I said, my wife said, "If it's falling apart, um, maybe it's time to think about getting a new Jeep." Um, would you take that? Are you communicating? What do you think? Um, I, mm. I I I want to hear if you if you have insight on that, let us know. You can push the you know DM button if you're listening on social media or whatnot, or you can email us at the at gmail.com. Let me know. Just put in the subject Jeep Jeep Insight. That's what I want to know. Let's see if anybody emails me. Uh, anyhow, I'm. Yeah. Hey, Cassie. Hey, listen, Cassie's been on board. She keeps saying, you know, if you, you find a good deal, you want to get a Jeep. I know so how Cassidy, much you love your Jeep. If and Cassie's so listening, she has I thrown it out there like, and I, let me know. I agree. Let us know. So and I have no doubt your wife is telling you to get a Jeep. Yeah, but, and but we're not like you for digging not. into it. She, well, every time I look at one, it's like either the miles are too long, too much, or it's or the car is just or it's just ridiculously priced. And I'm like, I can't even pull the, the trigger. About on Jeep, that. the thing about Jeeps though is everything can be rebuilt. Everything. That's so true. It doesn't matter. That's true. Just buy it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, right, I was thinking about we, the we, top we, podcast. No, we, thinking I was of, saying, we thinking of this the last year. <laughs> yeah, we did. We're preparing for the new year. We're we're coming off of Christmas. Right. But hey, listen, I was looking at some of the last in this last year's episodes and the top most listened to episode was the episode. What pastors wives really think about stuff. Of course it was. I, I do you even doubt that? I don't doubt that. I mean, they were, they were like the shining spotlight this last year, which you know what? Can't go wrong. It's the same reason why when we put a resume out there, we always put our family on it because we know that's Absolutely. what really sells us. Like we, we, it's true. We, we're yeah. nothing without our wives. And so that being said, oh, that true. does not surprise me one bit that what pastor's wives think about things is really the top mm -hmm. podcast that somebody would listen to. I'd listen to it mm -hmm. um, because my mm -hmm. wife can articulate things better. And uh, yeah, she's just better. Well, I, I think that. it's true that we both how we outpunted our coverage with our wives. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. 100%. Um, I don't know how that happened. Uh, I guess as we would say around, uh, you know, favor is just not fair sometimes, right? It's just not. Uh, <laughs> God is good. But there's a lot uh, of great, great episodes we've had. I mean, think about some of the ones just recently. And then this year, we have some great guests that have come on. We've had uh, people that we've just met come on the podcast this last year. We've right. had some people we've known for, for a long time. So it's been really right. cool. Yeah, it's been cool to see some of our – and I, 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 I want to say it's been really cool to see some of our college guys, the guys that you went to school with mm -hmm. that um, – and I'm not thinking of one in particular when I say this, but sometimes you know, you go to school and they tell you, you know, some of these guys aren't going to make it. Uh, you know, look around the room. 50% of you guys won't be pastors in 10 years. And, uh, you know, you wonder who are those 50% going to be. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, think about it. Sometimes they're right on that, but these guys are sharp mm -hmm. guys that we went to school with that, you know, uh, we, maybe we box with and did some stupid things with, but at the same time, now we're seeing God use them in powerful ways. And, and we've had some, and I, I one comes to the surface right off the bat. It wasn't even that long ago. Uh, but we did a, a, past, a podcast with Dr. Zeb Cook uh, from Apex mm -hmm. Church, um, you know, leading without burning out. And it was a it was just such a such a cool episode. Uh, really, really cool. Well, not only watching one of our friends, our college people we went to school with um, lead us well and communicate to us, but we learned and we learned a lot from. But also just to mm -hmm. uh, just the topic itself of you know leading without burning out, and we all need that, mm -hmm. um, especially mm -hmm. as we're trying to to do what we've been called to do, which is a very very um, can be a very very um, um, heavy 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 thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I think mm -hmm. that's what get, goes down as one of my favorite episodes that we we spent some time looking at. And that what episode was that, Josh? I'm sure you're looking at it. Episode you, 58. Yeah, episode I'm looking at leading without burnout, and then we had a really great conversation. Uh, with our worship pastors back in episode 20. Of course, that might have been, I don't know if that was this year. I, I need to go look and double check. But I mean, that was a great one. We had episode uh, 57. We talked about personal holiness in the mission. That was a really good conversation. Uh, I believe that was with um, one of our, our great friends up in the panhandle. And uh, but God, it's just been really a, a great time to learn. We're, we're still trying to think of new ways, new, uh, new tiles. We're actually looking at uh, this next year, having kind of like a series. So every month we'll kind of have a series that we're going to unpack 
And uh, so that's going to be coming up, some ways to kind of break down some bigger themes that pastors, leaders, churches go through. And we're going to kind of break it down almost like a sermon series, Jay. I mean, which that, this was really your idea. And I just want to make sure everybody knows it was an excellent oh, I idea. Don't, I don't, I don't, want to, I don't want to take credit for it, but I do think the idea of like, when I think about that way in a sermon series, I'm like, man, it's so much easier to plan and organize than <laughs> haphazard. Like, what do we do? So uh, I, I also think it'd be a really cool opportunity here uh, for us to, to just ask, and you guys, you know, if you're listening to this, um, take some time, think about it. And what are some topics and don't be shy about the topic. What are some topics that you think we need to, we need to hash out that you would, you would like, Hey, I, I, I really want to know about that. We will find the leader. Uh, we'll find the person who is an expert in that area. Cause Josh and I will be quick to say uh, we're experts in very few areas, if any. Um, and so we'll find the leader, we'll find the expert and we'll, we'll, we'll add it to the list. We'd love to um, meet you where you are, because really this podcast is selfishly josh and i want to learn from great people we also want it to be valuable to you and add value to mm -hmm. your life your ministry um your family as you as you engage in the world around you and so um mm -hmm. we don't want this just to be something that we we do for fun uh, we want it to add value and so uh, what are those things that would add value what are the things that are pressing on your life or that you're going to face in 2023 that you say hey it'd be super helpful if I could uh, get some input insight on this topic, whatever it may be. And just as we are when we're preaching sermon series, if uh, we are prompted and, and God is at work and God needs us to, to venture away from the series for a week, we want to be sensitive to that. And so we'd love to hear from you. So thepastorpod at gmail.com. Uh, you can hit us up on social media. You can hit us up personally if you need to, or through the pastor pod um, uh, social media uh, links. And so let us know. We'd love to meet you where you are as well. Um, but Josh, as I'm thinking about this, one of the things that I'm thinking about that we need to figure out how to throw in there is we've, we've joked about it. Uh, we like to, uh, we like to go off on tangents and rant a little bit. I think we need to have a rant podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah, think, it would, I'm good I think with that. a rant podcast, like we can just rant and yeah. go, Hey, look, just I off want and on, to just, yeah, a long I, list I, of things. This is, this is something that really hits me right here in the gut, right above the belly button. I just uh, can't handle this and just talk about it because uh, I don't want this to also be polished um, and the fact that like we're not real people because it's real and transparent conversations. Isn't that what Cassidy says every week on the as you as you as we yeah roll the in? Intro. intro? I think she likes to listen because she's like that's me. I'm on. I'm on. I'm there. I think we need to do an updated one. I think we need to do an updated uh, intro. Oh, uh, a new updated. A reveal oh, it, a reveal it, a reveal it. No, no. I think she needs to be the voice still. <laughs> I just think we should do an updated one, you know? It's like, you know, I remember oh. going back to like TGIF, Josh, and you're watching Family oh. Matters and some things like that on, on TV. And yeah. every year they would they would do a new roll in because they had to. People were growing up, things like that. Josh, we're growing up. I think it's we're time. Almost, we're going to it's three time. years. It's, it's time, time to freshen it up. It's time. Freshen we're up. Gonna, freshen you know, up to look. You know what? We're, we're going to make this happen. And then there's some other stuff that we've been praying and talking about that you're going to hear in the new year that's yes. beyond the podcast. Oh, but yeah. There's a lot going on behind the scenes in a good way, like a lot of cool cliffhanger, ideas. Cliffhanger. A little cliffhanger there for you. But stuff that we want to we want to be a part of continuing to connect with leaders. We 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 do a lot with one another, talking, sharing, praying for each other. We want to develop and, and help uh, pastors and leaders you know, develop these healthy relationships and uh, how do we, how do we foster that? How do we develop more of that? Because so many leaders are lonely, isolated, uh, walking through so much, especially this last, if you just take the last two and a half years, I mean, just if you were to spend a whole rant session on the last two and a half years of the challenges that's facing everybody. But when you speak of leadership, uh, it's pretty fascinating. The things that we now cancel one another over, and argue about so it's 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 moved beyond COVID and it's become even more granular so but i'm not going to keep going down that path but yeah i think we're definitely going to un unveil some things that we want to see happen this next year that i hope if, if you're listening your leader your pastor we want to be able to to encourage you and find ways to support you yeah and so uh and you reminded me, I'm looking at, you reminded me of, uh, we've done so we've been, we've had so much fun on the podcast. Um, and, and there has been some tensioned, uh, podcasts, uh, that we've gone through that mm -hmm. we're like, we've hit, we've hit some tension. 
Um, mm-hmm. and, and some of them were, and I think sometimes we do podcasts. It's just like in our world that we, we, we did a podcast and I remember you brought, um, a friend of yours on from the, to, from your church uh, that's from Ukraine. And we were talking, mm-hmm. we did a special episode talking about the things that are going on in Ukraine. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I, I think I need to highlight here. There's still things happening in Ukraine that we, nobody's really talking oh, about yeah. as much anymore. And I, I think it's important that we we look back, and I think this yeah. is really one of the things that I, I gathered from uh, this podcast is looking back and going, man, there's some things that we talked about that were really super important, things that were happening mm-hmm. um, and that are still happening. And I think that is one of the reasons mm-hmm. why I want to encourage listeners, you know, scroll back through. Maybe you're new to the podcast. You have, you're like 61. I picked up mm-hmm. at 60. I'm new to this thing. Scroll back through. <laughs> there's some There's some cool, there's some cool topics in yeah. there. There's some cool things that we've talked about and talk through with some cool leaders. Um, man, we've had some good leaders. Uh, think about Bob Bumgarner who's been mm-hmm. on, uh, I think he's been on twice mm-hmm. this year. And uh, every yeah. time he comes, like, I just can't keep up with taking notes. Um, mm-hmm. We had uh, Jimmy Scroggins talking about parenting. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, him and his that. wife came him on. Him and his wife talking great, about parenting. Yeah, full, full circle parenting. So great right. book. Great book. Uh, and we great. Had- that was a cool. Yeah. That was that was one where I got caught up. I was I was a tension point in that podcast where uh, do I go to my daughter's game or do I go to a Celtics playoff game? I remember uh, that. Which one do I do? Um, and I I my daughter told me to go to the Celtics playoff game, and so because I want to respect my daughter's wishes, I went to the Celtics playoff game, um, and they, felt, yeah. and they and they lost and. Um, I'll never forgive myself for that. Uh, for the record, my daughter's team lost too. So it was a loss, loss, no matter which way I went. Um, but I, <laughs> um, but anyhow, that was a tension point uh, for me. Uh, but right there in mm-hmm. the parenting conversation, mm-hmm. and I remember Dr. Scroggins really giving me a hard time about that. Um, yeah. Basically, if I went to the Celtics game, I was making a poor parental parental decision. So um, right there, it shows that I don't always listen to the leaders on our podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, um, one, yeah. one that I I remember was things I wish I knew, like that I didn't learn in Bible college or seminary. That was a good one back at episode 37. Uh, that was just a fun one. And then I remember the we, we talked a lot about uh, preaching, you know, episode 29. We talked about expository topical preaching. Uh, then the one before that, 28, how, how to prepare a sermon, you know, just some, I think, real practical, just helpful stuff that it's becoming more of a thing on social media. People people debate, you know, preaching right. and how it should be done or, or what they like or don't like and what's what's the right way, what's the most effective way. And I think that was a really, I enjoy anytime talking about about that. And um, Do you remember the one we, we talk- talked about uh, speaking in tongues? Yeah, that was a good one. Nah, that didn't happen. We didn't know no, we didn't talk. <laughs> talk about that you went with it though how about you just scrolled I, with that I did one. I acted like I, I knew I'm like I'm like <laughs> scrolling through our episodes like I don't see that one in here but uh yeah that's a great we'll talk about that next year uh hey emotional fun maturity one. was a to. fun one yeah emotional maturity was a great one with Bob that was back in episode 50 if you yeah definitely go with with hey with the miss the real the practical Bob Bumgarner. the other day mm-hmm. I was I had something happen um a couple weeks ago and it I actually stopped and prayed for emotional intelligence. I was like, I need to have emotional intelligence right now when I handle this. Cause if I don't handle this properly, it's going to cost me uh, my witness right. ministry, all that good stuff. So that one came in handy um, mm-hmm. just recently mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. So we talked about sheep swapping episode 54, how people church hop. And uh, I've had some great conversations with people in our church that I think they came on the Sunday. I kind of mentioned some of that in a sermon. They Talked hopped about- over. Yeah, but they they were praying about where to connect. They're like, you know, you use that idea of shopping or church hopping, and you know, it's just a, it was a it's funny, but it also leads to really good conversation about what does it mean to really be connected in a local church that it's not just a place you go, but people you belong to. And then we did talk about uh, missional living. That was a that was a really well listened to podcast back in uh, at episode forty six. Wow, you just got it. Look, he's got all this from memory too. He's not looking at a thing. Not at all. Uh, I'm not looking through my phone right now at all. <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, Josh, what you're saying is it's been it's been 61 episodes of just fun, uh, mm-hmm. learning experience. Uh, there's been some pain things we've talked about, some serious things we've talked about. And all in all, this has been a fun journey. And I'm looking forward to 2023. 
and I think you are as well. And we have some exciting things that I want to encourage everybody to tune in next week because we are going to unpack what the year is going to look like. You can mark your calendar. You can be a part of it. Um, and, uh, we'll get to work on that roll in. I think the mm-hmm. new roll in is going to really spike up people's attention. Like what will Cassidy say in the new roll in? So, uh, Cassidy, if you're listening, she doesn't to podcast, even know that we're going to ask her to do this yet. Like oh, we're saying well, this is happening. She will find out when she hears this podcast, uh, she's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> or Josh, you could forewarn her. <laughs> uh, surprises are always fun. <laughs> so, um, Josh, yeah, I think it's just been a good year, fun year. Thanks for thanks for coming along the journey with me. I've enjoyed it, even though this is your podcast. I've enjoyed uh, being your guest and co-host for for the year. Maybe you'll renew my contract. We'll find out. If you show up next week yeah, and I'm not on the are... podcast, you know I didn't get renewed. Uh, the contract no, didn't get renewed. No. <laughs> This I haven't seen it in my, my inbox. Podcast. I haven't seen it in my inbox yet. I haven't seen the renewed contract yeah, yet. Because so. the pay is the pay is really good. I know the pay is really good. <laughs> it's fantastic, is what it is. All right. Well, listen. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us for 2022, and I look forward to next year. We look forward to next year. Thanks for joining us on the podcast. It's been a pleasure uh, hanging out with you each and every week. And uh, for those who get up with us at 3 a.m. when the podcast drops, more dedication to you. So thankful for you. Hey, from Josh and I at the podcast, thanks so much for tuning in with us. We'll see you. We'll talk to you next year. Have a great weekend.